Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number 12 in the Broken Access Control module titled Multi-Step Process with No Access Control on One Step. All right, let's get started. This lab has an admin panel with a flawed multi-step process for changing a user's role. You can familiarize yourself with the admin panel by logging in using the credentials administrator admin. To solve the lab, log in using the credentials for this regular user over here and exploit the flawed access controls to promote yourself to become an administrator. All right, so the target goal for this lab is to exploit a multi-step process in the way that you could change a user's role and then use it in order to promote yourself to an administrator user. So let's access the lab. And notice over here, I'm using the built-in browser in Burp. And so all my requests are already going through my proxy. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is log in with the administrator account uh, to see how that functionality works. So the username was administrator and the password was admin. And then we're going to click on admin panel. And here's the functionality to upgrade a user or downgrade a user. So um, we need to upgrade our own user, but we need to do that through exploiting a broken access control vulnerability. And so to check how the functionality works, we're going to try and upgrade the Carlos user. So we click on upgrade user. This is the first request that it makes. Let's send that to repeater. And then it asks you if you're sure that you want to upgrade that user. You click on yes. And this is the second request that it makes. And so we'll send that to repeater as well. So over here, this is called a multi-step process because there's multiple steps that you perform in order to finish your end goal, which is upgrading a user. The first step over here is um, to the slash admin roles path. It takes in the username of the user that you want to upgrade and then the action that you want to perform, which is upgrading a user. And then in the second step, it's to the same path as well. And it's a post request, except with this one, you confirm that you really want to upgrade that user. Now, this is a really good example because we I see vulnerabilities in multi-step processes in a ton of the applications that I test. And the reason is because most developers assume that if you put access control on the first function, then you don't need to put access control on the second pump on the second function, which is this one over here, because a regular user would never get to this request unless they've gone through this request. However, that's not how requests work. Hackers can call any request that they want, and so access control needs to be implemented on every request that the application makes. But we still don't know that this is vulnerable, and so let's log out of the admin account and log into the regular account that we were given. All right, let's click on my account and log in with the credentials that we were given. The password was Peter. Hit login. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on inspect and then application and then extract the cookie for this user. So this is the cookie that identifies the regular user. And then we're going to try and see if we can use the regular user cookie to perform admin functionality. So if we hit send on uh, the first step in the multi-step process, it says it's unauthorized, which means that proper access control rules were put on uh, the specific step. Next, let's check the second step, hit send, and we get a 302. If we follow redirection, you could see that we get a 401 unauthorized message. So that's interesting. I wonder if it's because we're trying to upgrade a user that is not us. So let's try and upgrade the user that is us. Hit, let's do that for the first one actually as well. Confirm that we still get the unauthorized message hit send, it's still an unauthorized, and then for the second one as well, hit send, and click follow redirection, and here we go, it says congratulations, you solved the lab. So again, what likely happened is that the developer put access control rules on this specific item over here, assuming that you can get from uh, step zero to step two, you have to go through step one. And if you went through step one, then you have the proper access uh, to perform this functionality. However, again, this is not how requests works. We could perform any request in whatever order that we want. And that's essentially what we did over here. 
if we directly just perform this request, it upgrades our own user to an admin user. All right, so we've successfully completed the exercise by exploiting the vulnerability manually. Now let's script it in Python. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.